What do you pay for broadband? Not much if you live in the rich world, but in developing nations, it can cost up to a full month's wages. That is one big reason that only 40% of the world's people are online. As broadband becomes a bigger part of the global economy, developing nations are losing ground. They're missing out on the power of broadband to spread knowledge and to create opportunity. So how will broadband get to the billions of people who need it? Not over the ground. The best hope for getting the offline to go online is in the sky. In Peru and Brazil, the government is using satellite to bring the internet to tens of thousands of rural schools. In India, the American company Hughes is adding 4,000 to 5,000 schools each year to a government network that delivers job training to millions. 90% of the people in Thailand live in rural villages. Across the country, they go to satellite-connected community centers to learn digital skills. They're called Rooms for Life, and they're opening up a new life of opportunity for the Thai people. In the rich world, most people get internet from wires, cables, and optical fiber. But more than 500 million Africans live beyond the edge of the network. That's more people than live in the European Union. For years to come, they will look to the skies for help in claiming their fair share of the global economy. Your world's better with satellite. Brought to you by the Society of Satellite Professionals International with the support of Hughes Network Systems and the Intelligent Community Forum.